All right, guys. Nicole found our bug. We just found the big three pointing in. Skylar's moved in. Oh my gosh, he just shot him. It is opening day of the bow hunt. And I didn't really film much this morning. There were people everywhere, deer running everywhere. and Saw a lot of bucks, but just not the buck we're looking for. So I'm hiking back in. Nicole's gonna be up on point glassing for us and we'll see what happens. Day two, here we go. It's uh, been a pretty exciting morning. About got ran over by a small 3x4 and then had another uh, decent 3x4 walk right underneath me and then just barely had a big group of bucks come over the top that were spooked by another hunter and there was one really big three point in there with no fronts. And he walked about 120 yards below me. It's only the second day but Lots of bucks running around getting chased like crazy. Freaking people everywhere. But that's how it goes. So we're going to keep after it. I'm going to probably hunt my way back to the truck. I just saw that big three point again right below me in the bottom of a canyon. The spot bucks like to bed a lot. So probably just going to 
ease my way down through there and and yeah work my way back but I know Corbin and Michael had some action this morning as well so we'll catch back up with them a little bit later today and, and see what happened See him because he's like leaning over, he's got his face mask on. He's totally on the deer. He's ranging again. Oh, he's about he's about to draw. He thought about it for a second. There he goes. That was a fast draw. That he must be busting out or something. He just drew super fast. Oh, he shot. Yeah, he shot. down the bottom or something. So we've got this buck. He's actually working up one of these cuts and Michael's sitting at the top of it waiting. Hopefully if it all works out, this buck on the left that you can see will walk past him. It's their last morning of hunting, so fingers crossed. I've had some close calls, and but no luck, so hopefully today's the day. It is the evening of day five. We're here, um, Corbin and Michael just headed home. And they got super close this morning, as you've probably already seen. Michael had a buck that was too close, busted him like six, well, the buck he was trying to shoot was 20, the others were at like six yards, but. Anyways, gonna keep grinding it out. We've 
seen some pretty decent bucks and just super grateful to be up here, be up here on the mountain, be hunting for myself with Nicole and with friends and it just doesn't get much better. So, I mean, it's a grind. You got to stay in it physically and mentally, but we're having a blast and we're going to keep after it. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll arrow a big old buck soon or two. All right, well, it's like, it's like morning number nine, maybe 10. Not much has happened yet. Um, you just gotta put in the time, but there's a lot of people here and it definitely takes a lot of luck. So now we're heading back in. We're actually heading to Colorado in a couple days so we don't have a lot more time to hunt this. I'm probably gonna make a move on and hopefully we can turn one of those up. There's a few we have in mind. There's a really tall three point with giant back forks that I've already passed up once. Yeah, that's the update. We've got about an hour to hike in here this morning and hopefully we can find a buck to go after. Just spotted one of the bucks we're looking for. It's just a big three point with no front forks, but anyways, kind of got to hurry. Um, going to make a move and see if we can cut him off. He's going to go through a saddle, so hopefully I can get there before he does. So I just spotted this big old three point. We've seen him a couple other times in the mornings up here, and he's a giant looking back from the side you can tell he's mature by his body and his head Skylar is working his way over there he's going to try to intercept them and put an amb put an ambush on this thing see if he can get within bow range we had him set up on the right ridge this morning he's just a little bit farther down so he's going to work the top right now as quickly and quietly as possible and see if he can close the distance and get a shot on this thing Alright guys, moment of truth, Skylar. Hoping this buck gives him a shot. Well, I missed a big three-point giant back forks, tall and narrow, no front forks, but super cool buck. Fed right over the top. He was within shooting range. Going to let him get quite a bit closer because he had no idea I was there. But then they started acting a little bit nervous. Kept looking down the canyon away from me, um, but weren't super comfortable. And then they started to feed uphill and away from me, so I decided that it was now or never, and drew back, was real solid, but then I, I think I kind of just rushed the shot, didn't go through my whole shot process of leveling the bubble and all that good stuff, and I shot, he ducked as I shot, and I shot right over his back. Arrow stuck in a tree, like a log that was just right behind him, and double checked it just to make sure, and it was completely clean. And I got it back in my quiver now. The broadhead got stuck in the log, but it was a complete miss. So that's much better than wounding him or something like that. But just didn't do my part, didn't follow through. And But that's how you learn. This is bow hunting. So we're going to keep going. And it's a sweet buck. I would love to get another chance at him, but we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. 
go see if we can turn him up again. <clears throat> All right, so it shot pretty good at 200 or at 100. Now we're gonna try 200. Hammered it. I think she's on. Try a little further. Is there like a 300? There is. Alright, so we're gonna try 300 now. Freaking drilled the plate at 200, so now we're gonna try 300. So we got a little bit like a five mile an hour wind left to right, so I'm gonna hold the left edge of the plate. Yeah? Yeah. It's opening day, Utah model lover. Um, you're not legally required to wear orange, but it's been such a rat race in here. This general season stuff is extremely overcrowded. Anyways, got the orange hat on just to be extra safe. And there's a ton of fog rolled in, so glassing is terrible. Um, I got here to my glassing point. There's already two people up here working the other direction. Hopefully we'll get a chance to get eyes on one of our target bucks and make it happen because this is the only day I get to hunt. And then we are headed to New Mexico tomorrow for Nicole's big bull hunt. Um, if she ends up killing early, we'll get the last couple of days of this hunt as well. But for now, we're just planning on this one day. So hopefully the weather will clear and Nicole will be able to start glassing. And I'll be able to glass further and hopefully we can make it happen. Big three, the one I missed with the bow. So I'm moving in. It's in the same area where he was when I missed him. So, anyways, this is gonna be short. I'm gonna get going. All right, guys, we just found the big three pointing in. Skylar's moved in. originally spooked this buck but he ran clear back on his escape route just picked him back up trying to get Skylar on him now Get on him, Skylar. I don't know where Skylar's at, but I hope he can see him. Damn it, they're looking nervous. Beautiful double throat patch. Come on, Skylar. He's got to be close. Looks like he's about to bed. No freaking way. He just bedded. He freaking just bedded. At this point, I don't know where Skylar's at. I can't see him anywhere. So I'm just hoping that he's in the right spot. Just rolling the camera, hoping we see this big buck drop. All right, they're looking pretty nervous. Looks like he just got up. Yep, something is about to go down. Just whip their head. Yep, 
something's about to happen. They're about to bust. Alright, I can see Skylar laying prone. He's down on the gun. I can see his pack down. He's probably just waiting for an opening. Oh my gosh, he just shot him. He just freaking shot him. Well, I just shot the big three. Happened fast. I think it was decent. Got reloaded, heading over. This smile only means one thing, I freaking got him. It was a little high and a little back. He, it would have killed him, but it just happened so fast. I was set up perfect on him, and he was 150 bedded, but he's behind some trees. All of a sudden, these two does I didn't see just ran, blew everything out, and they were running up the hill. I could have shot every other buck but him. He was behind all the brush. And finally, I got a shot only 150 yards, so I let him have it, hit him good. He went down and kind of rolled, but then he got his feet back under him. So I reloaded, came over here to look for him, saw him at like 20 yards. He hopped up, he could barely go, but he hopped up, ran 10 feet, turned broadside. I shot him offhand right behind the shoulder and that's it. So we got us a big old freaking general season buck. And the coolest thing is he's still in full velvet. And this is the buck that I missed with the bow. Second week of the archer hunt. Missed him with the bow, shot right under him. He was honestly our number one target today. I have redemption to get with this buck. He's got big old giant back forks, full velvet, super tall, super narrow, but man, I'm pumped. It's been a while since I killed a big old buck, so I'll take it. Packing up my stuff as fast as I can. Skylar just called me and I actually just watched him smoke the big three point. We've been on this thing for a freaking like 10 days of the bow hunt trying to get him killed and finally just sealed the deal. He was in his exact same pattern and if it wasn't for all the work we put in on the bow hunt learning his escape routes and his patterns we would have never got him but he did everything perfect this morning. Did exactly what we knew he would. Came up in the exact same spot where we've seen him so many times and just read the script and Skylar bumped him at first. He walked a little bit too far and spooked him. They ran. He was able to see where they went, followed them, got back in on him and freaking just laid the hammer down on this buck. And he's looking at him right now. So I'm packing up, I was spotting for him, packing up all my stuff, getting in the truck and I'm gonna drive down and go hike in and we're gonna get this thing packed out. So. Heck yes, can't wait oh, to see this thing. My elk hunt starts tomorrow, so we only had one day to get it done and freaking capitalized despite fog and other hunters and spooking him and things just finally worked out for us. So let's go see this buck. No reason to follow the blood trail, I can see him, but just in case you guys wanted to see it. his tracks right here. Heck yes. He's freaking awesome. Big old body. Giant back forks. Oh man. He's freaking cool. Look at this buck. Yes, I love him. He's freaking awesome. 
like I said, he's not the widest buck in the world, but man, what a sweet, sweet buck. Look at that back fork. Back forks don't get a lot bigger than that, people. Jeez. Super grateful for this thing. You guys, this buck, although he's not going to score, he is growing, I mean, character for days. I love big threes. Never got me one until today. Man, yes. Oh, I'm so pumped. So, not only is he still in velvet, which had me thinking, but he's a cactus buck. I mean, it's a... It's too bad because he's got some freaking awesome genetics. This is a drought year, so most years I'm guessing he probably has a front fork, but you never know. But anyways, these cactus bucks, they get EHD as a fawn. It's a virus. We actually did a big study with the DWR a couple years ago, the place I work, and they determined that if the virus doesn't kill them, depending on how bad their fever is, It'll actually sterilize them, and their testicles will shrink up, basically go away. Um, and then obviously they can't breed. They don't really contribute to the herd at all, because all they do is eat all the feed out there. And they can't breed any does to spread their genetics, so they're kind of just there. But anyways, perfect buck to take out of the herd for sure, and he's a freaking stud on top of that, so... I couldn't be more happy right now. I'm so freaking pumped. Man, how cool. Holy crap, guys. He has a double throat patch. No way. Oh, man. <laughs> this is just getting better. Just couldn't have done this without Nicole and her help and her spotting. And She's just incredible. She's so good at what she does and so willing to give up her time of hunting. She has a tag, too. We could both be out hunting, but instead she's dedicated the morning and the day and the whole archery hunt to spot for me this year. And hopefully I can return the favor, but man, how blessed am I to live this life and have such an incredible wife and best friend to hunt all over the place with. And this is even more special being in our home state. And I've had some great times on this mountain and yeah, we're gonna wait for her to get here. She should be here in the next 10, 15 minutes, so I can't wait for her to see him. She's gonna be so pumped. We've got Connor, the big bull slayer, last week, coming to help. Good buddy, you've seen him before. There's Nicole too, right there. Oh my gosh. He's a freaking stud. He truly is. So he's cool, huh? He's a stud. He's pretty for a cactus buck, too. Yeah, he does, his horns don't look like cactus buck at all. He's so freaking tall. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He's a 20 inch G2. I know. He's a stud. I love him. I'm so glad I shot him and not the hard horn buck. I'm pumped. Redemption. Connor's here to pack him out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not packing anything today. <laughs> we'll load Connor down.